Minister, Honourable Member, Independent Member for Clark. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister for Skills, Training and Workforce Growth. Minister, on Monday I attended with Ms Archer and Ms Ogilvy the opening of the Glenorchy Jobs Hub to much fanfare. And as the Chair of the Local Steering Committee until my election to this place, I was so pleased to see it up and running and kicking goals already. Minister, on Tuesday this week, you reiterated that the budget includes $10.6 million to extend the Jobs Hub network across the state. That's great news, but it's scant on detail. In your media statement, you mentioned how successful the Glenorchy Jobs Hub has already been in just the first five weeks of operation, and I couldn't agree with you more. However, I am advised that the Hub only has funding secured for the next 10 months. Minister, given the success of the program already, and the fact that, as you have said, it's making a real difference in the lives of job seekers, will you give a guarantee that the Glenorchy Jobs Hub will be funded on an ongoing basis past the end of this financial year? Honourable Minister for Skills yeah. and yeah. Workplace yeah. Uh, Thank you, Mr Speaker. I thank the Honourable Member for her question. Uh, with regards to that job hub, um, I have seen the successes, as you've noted it. We have had it funded and we'll work with the community and we'll work with the participants to evaluate it as we get to the end of the financial year as we consider our further investment. One thing I do want to point out, Mr Chair, with regards to, or Mr Speaker, with regards to the question that was asked, um, I was disappointed to hear um, premised in the question the statement about it being scant on detail. Indeed, Mr Speaker, I stood here in this House only two days ago mm -hmm. and outlined right. um, an enormous right. amount of detail about this particular hub, uh, the fact that um, that when it was opened um, only recently there were 107, I think it was, I was corrected by my yeah, colleagues, yeah. people registered. Uh, we know that this hub is doing a great job and has had uh, a long genesis that the honourable member who asked the question has been yeah. involved in uh, to make sure that we got the governance right, to make sure that we got the right people embedded, to ensure that we got the right partnerships with the local community. And so I'm really excited, uh, Mr Speaker, the fact that we have achieved so much in this time by working in partnership with other organisations. And I hope um, all members would be celebrating the success. Uh, we know that in Glenorchy the opportunities here are significant and we acknowledge the fact that there is need in this community. That's right. This is why we are working with a variety of sectors okay. across aged care and disability, uh, with Glenview, Nexus, Roadworks with Down and Manufacturing at INCAD or Tourism with Mona. Yeah, this yeah. is about harnessing the local community, Mr Speaker, and this is exactly what is doing and this is what it, the strength of jobs hubs are. So as I mentioned right in my opening, uh, Mr Speaker, the $1.35 million over to two years, so it has been a significant investment, and we'll work with those involved to evaluate its success, as we will with all the jobs hubs around Tasmania, uh, to look for the future. Uh, Mr Speaker, I was also, as I mentioned earlier, disappointed um, that the member had said that there was scant on detail. Um, yesterday, or last week indeed, in estimates, I provide um, an extensive answer to a question to participants at that estimates hearing uh, with regards to the breadth of jobs hubs. Uh, I detail the fact that we have uh, the new job, jobs hubs opening. I detail the locations of those. Uh, I did talk about last week, Mr Speaker, that each hub is going to have a workforce development coordinator and support staff. will be governed by a local board and will support coordination with governments, local schools, TAS TAFE, vocational training, existing community networks and non-government and local government sectors. Uh, I also outline the fact that Jobs Tasmania, the uni new unit that has been established within the Department of State Growth will support these hubs by delivering common overhead supports, workforce analysis and data mapping. And Mr Speaker, I also updated uh, members last week that Jobs Tasmania have already convened their first Jobs Hub Network Forum uh, last month on the 11th of August, which brought together representatives from existing hubs, uh, the community and social services sectors, employers and the training industry uh, to help plan and roll out the remaining hubs, share ideas, find opportunities to work together. And, uh, Mr Speaker, it's clearly demonstrated that this side of the chamber uh, believes in jobs hubs. Yeah, this is yeah, why we're yeah, doing yeah. the funding for jobs years. hubs, and this is why we're working with local communities to deliver jobs across Tasmania into the future. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah.